What's up guys, welcome to Apex. In this video, we are gonna take a look at all those cool features which have been added on Android 13, the all new iteration of Android from Google. I recently got this Google Pixel 6a to experience the stock Android and I will be posting more contents about the stock Android in the future along with the Samsung's One UI features. If you have missed those videos on One UI 5.0 which I recently posted, go ahead, check the video out. There are some amazing features which Samsung has added on its One UI 5.0 which is currently running on beta. Now in this video I will be sharing all those cool features which are added on the Pixel phones which is of course on the stock Android. So let's dive in and have a look at the first feature. Now on the quick panel we have got two new tiles. One is for one-handed mode and the second one is for QR code scanning. Let's open the quick panel. As you can see, I've got QR code scanner here and I have a toggle for one-handed mode as well. We can just tap on this QR code scanner to open the scanner directly from here. And if you want to enable the one-handed mode, just tap on this tile to enable it. Now we can just swipe from the bottom of the screen to see the one-handed mode being active. We can use our phone with just the thumb using this one-handed mode. So the quick panel gets two brand new quick access tiles. All right, now let's look at the second feature. Now we can see the active applications in the notification panel. As you can see, when I pull down the notification panel, it is showing one app is active. When I tap on this, here it says these apps are active and running even when you are not using them. This improves their functionality, but it may also affect battery life. So if you want to stop this application from running in the background, you can just tap on stop. This is a cool battery saver feature which we have on Android 13 now. The next feature is a very useful and important feature. This is about editing the content that you have copied on the clipboard. Let me demonstrate this feature to you. I'll just press and hold on the content here. I will tap on copy. As you can see, the copied contents are here at the bottom left corner. I can either share this content or I can just tap on that copied content to further edit it. As you can see here, I can further edit this content which I've just copied. I can tap on done. Now this will be available on the clipboard. Now let me just copy a particular image here. I'll just tap on copy image. Now I'll tap on this clipboard. As you can see, I will be able to edit this image. We have an all new editor within the clipboard. That is just fantastic. I can crop this, I can add text on this. And from here, I can directly share. We have got the share button on the top right corner or we can just copy it to paste it anywhere you want. This is a very handy feature or a handy tool we have got now on Android 13. Let me know what do you think about this feature. I really wish this feature lands on the One UI 5.0 as well. Now here you can notice one more change in the quick panel or this notification panel. The power and the settings buttons have been moved to the bottom right corner. As you can see when I open the quick panel, the menu button and the power button are right here at the bottom right next to the active app notification space. That is another change to note here. Now let me go to settings. I'll tap on systems. Now let me tap on gestures. Now here on the top you can see quick tap to start actions. This is a fantastic feature which is available on Pixel phones. We can do a quick tap on the back of the phone to execute some actions. Now this feature was already there. However, now we have got an all new option to turn on the flashlight. We can toggle the flashlight on by just double tapping on the back of the phone. These double tap gestures even works on the case. So we have got the flashlight option added for the quick tap feature. All right, now let's move to the next one. We have got an all new material U with 16 color accents now. Let me just press and hold on the home screen and uh, tap on wallpaper and style. As you can see, we have got wallpaper colors and basic colors here. Now we have got 16 combinations. As you can see, the AI is going to pick three different colors for one combination from the wallpaper which you have applied on the home screen and it provides 16 different options. As you can see on the basic colors, we have got solid colors as well as a combo of two colors which are now available on Android 13. Now we can bring the best out of the material you design that the Android offers. We also have the themed icon feature which is running on beta right now. As you can see, it shows as beta. It doesn't seem to be working as intended. Sometimes it doesn't apply the theme for the third party icons. That is a bummer. All right, now let's look at this all new media player we have got with an all new progress bar. As you can see, I'm playing music on Spotify and in the notification panel, we've got this cool looking media player right here. 
The progress bar kind of looks cool over here. That is something new on Android 13. Of course, these are all silly changes that we are getting, but yeah, it's always good to see these refreshed looks on the UI. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on sound and vibration. Here, let me tap on vibration and haptics. As you can see, we have got some additional control bars for haptics here, for calls, notifications, alarms. We've got the sliders here to increase or decrease the vibration intensity for these. And you can also note, we have got an option called vibrate first, then ring gradually. That's a cool feature that has been added. Whenever you get a call, if you have enabled this particular toggle or this feature, the phone will first vibrate and gradually it starts ringing. This is a fantastic feature we have got on Android 13. Now let's go back. Now we have got more streamlined security and privacy menus. Now we've got reduced number of menus and it's easy to access all these options on the privacy and security settings. And we also get these safety status indicators, which will let you know whether your phone is at risk in any way. And if you want to rectify the issue, you can do that then and there right here on these settings. That is perfect. Next feature is dedicated app languages. Yes, now we can set a particular language for a particular application on your phone. Let's say all your contents on your phone is in English and you want a particular application to be in your native or your regional language. You can set this up. All you need to do is go to settings, tap on apps. Here you can select any application you want and tap on language to select your preferred language here. This language option will appear only if the application supports those languages. The next one is higher battery usage notification on battery settings. In case any of the application is consuming a lot of battery, you will be notified on battery settings. So you need to keep checking the battery settings so that you track any kind of abnormal battery usage on your phone. These are some of the important features that we have got on Android 13. We also have another feature called predictive back animation, which is in the experimental stage right now. This can be enabled by going to developer options. You can search for predictive back animations to enable it and there are some further steps to be followed to actually see this work. So I have not been able to get that done on the phone. But if I do, I will post a separate video on that. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. There will be loads of contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, One UI, Pixel phones, stock Android. And in the future, I'm planning to add the iOS as well. So you will get to see loads of contents on all these operating systems and phones. Anyways, that's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.